so my husband got his uh, liver scan today and it's completely normal. It's 5.7. This is liver stiffness with an IQR over median of only 7%. So it's very uniformly not stiff. Um, and everything checks out and the scan was done correctly at a good place. So it seems like his liver stiffness is down to the normal range now. No liver disease, not even F2, not even F3. So let's talk about where he came from because a little over six weeks ago he was having, he got a spider angioma, he was jogged at his teeth, was like losing muscle, he felt like an elderly person, he couldn't sleep, he couldn't like get his body to stay asleep, he was having grade one hepatic encephalopathy, um, he was super irritable, he had no appetite, he was losing a bunch of weight, and his melt score, um, it wasn't exactly that time, but it was like a few weeks before that, was about 14-ish, and we didn't have an um, INR, so it would have been higher. Different tre 
treatments and then also like healthy teas and healthy foods and lemon uh, smoothies. I make like sugar-free lemon smoothies with like erythritol or xylitol and lemon and some coconut yogurt and ice and stuff. And, uh, just We just did everything we could to support him. So anyways, he, um, he got there, his ammonia was normal a couple days ago and he's still not feeling totally great. Like he still has some fatigue. I think he might have had some brain damage from cirrhosis and he we're gonna get his bones checked make sure he didn't get like bone loss during all the undiagnosed cirrhosis but anyways it seems like the liver can really like clean itself out and I, I will say during a lot of this time he had a lot of liver pain and like it's not like oh we were mistaken he wasn't even sick with his liver his liver was doing a lot of stuff during this time he was it was like itching it felt hot it felt inflamed it felt weird um it, and at it, it very first it felt like even like it was like sharp pains and stuff. I think when the liver she was releasing, when we started him on Xiao Yao Sun or whatever that people, people are supplement is, he had that for a day or two. So I think what was happening was looking at the mechanism is that the macrophages in the liver have to kind of go attack the scarring with um, matrix metalloproteases, matrix metalloproteases, MMPs, to dissolve the scars, uh, dissolve the extra collagen. So that was probably what was going on. It's kind of like when you, you know, macrophages get activated uh, and you have an infection or something. So maybe that's why it felt like hot and inflamed for him. But so yeah, it does seem like though the timeline that the liver can heal on is very fast. Um, you know, if you donate part of your liver, it can actually regrow that part. And, two months or so. So it kind of makes sense that, you know, once you give the liver the right stimulation, it can go do these things. Also, he drank a lot of coffee, just FYI. He got back on coffee, so um, I think it's mostly decaf. But anyways, so good job. I'll try to post links to the things he use, and I'll eventually try to make more of a channel about this uh, in particular, go into depth about the different uh, healing substances for the liver and the mechanisms and some research studies and things and try to put information there because I was really worried about losing him. If you saw one of my earlier videos, I'm, I was actually genuinely concerned about losing him in the first couple days of this. And, you know, it's just such a blessing to be able to, like, keep the person that you love. And it really, like, stood out to me, like, oh my gosh, like, when you're worried about losing someone that you just can't lose, you just, you're just like, what do I need to learn? What do I need to learn? What, I, like, what's out there? What information is out there? What doctors? What treatment? What stuff can I try? Like, you know, and I want to try to put that information out there so that if anybody's out there, and, you know, I, I will say, the stuff he did was very expensive. He did a pretty intensive protocol. It probably cost several hundred dollars, if not up to about a thousand dollars a month for everything. Um, I don't know if you have to do that level, you know, if you just want to like turn it around. Maybe that's what it took for him to turn everything around in six weeks and he had the money for it. You know, he's a software engineer, we can, we can afford it. But um, even just some, I've seen people doing it just with coffee and cooking soups and, you know, they turn their liver disease around and eventually have no liver disease. Uh, even just, you know, drugstore milk thistle and, you know, it, the liver is, if you're going to damage an organ, the liver is actually not such a bad choice because with the right support, and, and if it hasn't gone too far, it really can heal itself. There is a point, even cirrhosis can, like, cirrhosis sometimes can heal, but if, if you get too few cells and too much, too, like, the scarring is too set down, it can get to where it won't heal, but I guess my husband wasn't to that point, uh, clearly, so... Anyways, I'm going to try to put information out, so just, I guess just if you're watching this and you're in that position of wanting to save someone or yourself that has this, just, just, uh, don't listen to doctors, there's a big industry, well, don't listen to the idea that you need a transplant, because there's a very big industry about our own transplants, everyone wants to just force you into that, when it's really not necessary, if you look at what other countries do that don't have such a big transplant industry, that don't have the same profit motive in their medicine as we do, um, a lot of countries are able to do uh, st stuff to help reverse the disease with herbs and stem cells and everything. So, um, you know, just have hope and put one foot ahead of the other and keep learning because, um, you know, hope it's really, really, like, I'm just, I'm floored by what my husband was able to do and I just want everyone to have access.
process and the knowledge that I helped, I helped